Well, that's about it. This is the chapter boss, the pork tank. So, without further ado, we might as well get started here. Start with a running bomb, and PK Thunder. You know what, actually, I'm gonna have her life up herself. The only thing that's important in this fight is staying alive, that's it. And you will wear him down, eventually. Because Wes will always be attacking, so you'll always be doing some kind of damage. See, so you don't have to worry about that so much. And if you get a chance to do damage, well, great, go ahead. But, um, like for instance, use PK Thunder. And, uh... And that's pretty much it. Wes is worried about Kumatora's safety. You fart knocker, she's 15 years old. Well, I guess that's all the more reason, though, isn't it? Go Salsa! Into <clears throat> his exhaust. Oh no, now we're both crying. <laughs> well, it's not gonna work on Wes. Let me see. I wonder if you can actually... I think you can actually make him laugh. We'll just keep using PK Thunder here. But no one was amused. But that was a really good backflip, man. Oh boy. Yeah, see, he'll start... Uh, that's really the first dangerous thing he's done yet, though, so... Well, I don't really see what the point is of trying to attack if I'm crying. That's not good. Recovery assist. No, I don't have a whole lot here. Might as well life her up. No one was amused. I'm pretty sure you can actually amuse that thing. Like, it'll say the pork tank is cheering. Seriously. Oh my god. Some of these monsters... Well, you know, we could do dance. Yeah, there we go. Um... Go ahead and do PK Thunder. Sweet. Not that that really matters when she's doing, uh... Look at that, he's throwing Duster's socks at a tank. Like, that's really gonna work. Like, can you just picture some guy in the army, like, here comes a tank and he takes off his boot and he throws his sock at it. That's just... weird. Oh no, you already boosted Kumatora. Boost yourself. Oh no. Ooh, boy. That's good. Well, we got beef jerky here. It's like, I got a vibrator. No, I don't know where that came from. Dude, we gotta hurry and heal up here. I'm doing a lot of healing, though, ain't I? <laughs> Secret thief art technique, alright. There he goes again. That animation for that particular attack works well with this sprite for some reason. <laughs> We're gonna run life up again, because we need to. Haha. -ha. Alright. Another secret thief art technique. Uh oh. Oh man. The pork tank was wrecked. Well, that was fast. Well, he gets a lot easier now. Pork tank fired his cannon, but it jammed. Yeah, it sure did. Why am I doing that? I'm crying. <clears throat> I wonder if I can get rid of that. I don't think I can, so we'll just use that. Beef jerky, what does she got? She's got magic delta. Oh, she doesn't have much either. Okay, well, just keep with the thunder then. Oh, she's maxed out, my bad. <laughs> okay, I didn't realize her HP was that low. Like her max HP, I mean. Oh well. Cannonball. <laughs> the pig mask threw a cannonball. Obviously, he can't shoot it out of the cannon anymore, so he just throws it. That's funny. Oh wow, she's out of HP. But she's got, um, magic gelatin, so. Not that I think we really need it anymore, but... I mean, we're pretty much done with this fight, I tell you. He's probably got about 400 HP left. I suppose. Dang it. Wes is worried about Kumatora's safety. The pig mask complained. Well, you're gonna have a lot more to complain about after this. Spewing out black smoke. Ooh, um, okay, freeze. Man, I can't hit that thing for nothing when I'm crying. So, yeah. Man, don't be throwing my socks. Or his socks, whatever. Um, uh, why did I do that? Oh, well, she's out of PP anyway. Wow, we could be in trouble here. Let me see what I got for... Well, we got a running bomb, we'll use that. Edible mushroom. Well, that's not gonna do much, but. <laughs> Goodness, I didn't want this to have to take two videos. 
But it's, yeah, I'm up to 10 minutes already now. There we go. The pork tank was destroyed. Salsa and company gained 624 experience points. Salsa's level is now 22. For all the good it'll do, Kumatora's is now 15. <laughs> you dare to fight us now? Yeah, right, you better be backing off. What's going on now? Facade! You bastard! And here he comes with a fresh tank. Wow. Well, bring it on, we'll just beat that one too. Now then, Princess Kumatora, may I ask that you behave and do so as we say. Do as we say. Oh man, this is not good. Hey, whoa, it's Lucas. We haven't seen him in a while. What's up, man? Who are you? Get out of here, you stupid kid. Get lost, stupid kid. They're all booing at him, but Lucas is like, you know, I don't hear you. Oh, baby Drago. Oh, my pork! What is a baby Drago doing here? You, baby Drago, get out of here. And they start booing the baby Drago. You guys. You just wait. <laughs> God, I love this scene. Well, what's going on? <laughs> oh man, look at the exclamation mark. Holy shit! Whoa! God, I love this scene. This is so freaking awesome. <laughs> yeah. He's like, you know what, you don't have to put machines on me to make me powerful. I'm powerful enough as I am. I may be a tame creature, but it <laughs> doesn't mean I can't kick some ass, too. Lucas is like, sick him, boy! <laughs> God, I love the baby Drago just going along with him. Oh. I love how they're playing the Mecha Drago's theme here, too. <laughs> yeah. You're in trouble now, man. Uh, we're out of here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, get back here, you! No, stop! Stop, don't! Please! Uh, go ahead. Haha, -ha, feeling better now, monkey? Go ahead, Salsa. Give him the go ahead. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, man. Man, I never noticed that before, that the Mecha Drago music plays here. That is so awesome. <laughs> here he goes. Boom! Oh, jeez, one shot kill. Will you come with us? <laughs> well, I guess they're running for the hills now. Lucas, I heard that you've done nothing but cry since the day your mother passed away. But what you did just now was wonderful. You saved our lives. Thank you, Lucas. Oh, right. Gotta say hi. Hi, nice to meet you, and thanks. You didn't even know what was going on, but you saved our lives. It's probably a little late for it now, but you should ask this geezer about what's going on. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Lucas is like, what? Say it again? Sure, I can fill you in on everything. Will you listen, Lucas? Uh... No! You know you need to hear this. <laughs> Fine, but thou must. Whatever. I'm up to 13 minutes. I don't know what I'm going to do about this. If I'm going to split it up or fast forward or what. And that's everything that's happened. No, Lucas. You stay here in Tasmanly. I'm certain clouds will come back sooner or later. I'd like you and Flint and the others to work together to protect our village. Oh, I intend to help too, of course. What little I can, at least. Princess, I leave the monkey in your hands. Oh, and the search for that moron, too. <laughs> Great. They should make a whole nother game about that, hell. Kumatora and Salsa, the adventures, the lost adventures. Don't know why, but somehow I get the feeling I'll be seeing you again. Take care of yourself. Okay, monkey, let's go. Yay, Salsa's happy. I think I'd be, too. But, no, I didn't... Uh, I didn't mean it like that, I just, you know... I'm not nearly as much of a, uh, let's say, a fan of Kumatora as Chugga Conroy is, and it doesn't mean I don't like her, it just means that I'm not, like, crazy about her or anything. Tasmili Village is now transforming exactly how the newly come peddler had planned. Only a handful of villagers realized that things were th that were good and right are being tossed away one after the other. 
Although prosperity is increasing, an eerie darkness seems to be growing heavier over the village at the same time. However, within that darkness, a frail young boy grows ever stronger. Soon, Lucas will repaint this tale of sadness with a bright new color. The deeper the darkness, the brighter the sunrise at dawn. The once coddled Lucas is now on his way to becoming a brilliant young son. Yeah, uh, son, son. Kind of a double meaning there, I guess. Okay, I'm up to 15 minutes. Can we end this here now? So, starting in Chapter 4, Lucas will be the main character, and in many ways, Chapter 4 feels like the real beginning of the game, actually. I wouldn't be surprised if, in, if originally Chapter 4 was the beginning of the game, but there you go. Okay, so I'll, next time I'll see you on Chapter 4. Take care, everybody, and have a good one.